My name is Morgan Shields, and I am a third year veterinary student here at Ohio State. Um, I was grateful enough to participate in the research, uh, summer research program with Ohio State through the generosity of Dr. Mack. Um, he allowed me to participate for my second year, and my project looks at brucella in cetaceans, which is a One Health global issue that I am very, very passionate about. Um, Dr. Mack and I have had a couple conversations about this already, and um, what I really love about this topic and his support and his views on it is that we really have to emphasize that this is a global issue. So my research was in collaboration with the Marine Mammal Center. I worked with my advisor, Dr. Risa Pisapain, who got me in with them, as well as Dr. Martinez at the Marine Mammal Center. She sent me samples, I analyzed them in my lab, and I was really looking to see if brucella is present in lungworms, which are parasites of dolphins. And it's important to understand the transmission of those lungworms because we need to understand more about how brucella gets around in the marine environment. Um, I have actually a really fun announcement about this. This is now my master's project here at Ohio State. And um, I've recently been working on a couple grant proposals to, to get that rolling. And what we're really looking at and focusing on is how climate change is also impacting this. So it's environment, it's humans, and it's animals. We're looking at all the aspects of One Health here. And so we're seeing in Costa Rica right now a large outbreak of brucella in dolphins, and we don't know why. Dolphins are getting sick. The people that go out and rescue the dolphins, the locals that depend on them and depend on the fish that they eat are also getting sick. So it's really important for us to understand how brucella is being transmitted. That's where I step in with my research in my master's project. And hopefully, uh, since this helped kick that off and Dr. Mack helped me kick that off, um, hopefully we will get some answers and we can discover and see how brucella is infecting the lungworms that could potentially be infecting those dolphins. If we can figure that out, then we can get that knowledge out to the public and out to collaborators globally. This is not just uh, an issue in the United States. We need to collaborate with other researchers out there and other veterinarians. Part of this project is me discussing and communicating with researchers who may not really speak English as well as I do. So it's really important that we work together and we share all the knowledge that we have. And it, that's, that's what I love about it, is it's not, we don't have those cultural boundaries and the research isn't just about one group of people benefiting. It's about everybody benefiting, not just you know, those who are veterinarians. Um, it's about the people that go out and interact with those dolphins. So um, that's uh, the basis of my project. That's why I'm passionate about it. And uh, Dr. Mack, if you would love to talk about this more, um, you have my email through Dr. Dean Moore. So just you know, shoot me a, shoot me an email, and I could talk about this all day. Thank you. Mm -hmm.